I was here uh, eight years ago, season one. <laughs> I was a semi-finalist and I just missed out on the grand final. I'm gonna go with Darren. I was guarded and I still feel like I didn't do my best. People didn't get to know me in that season. I've had a lot of good opportunities in my career. Almost is the, is the key word of coming close to, to what I want to do. I'm a perfectionist, which is a detriment. This time, I want people to see more, more about who I am. I am so happy to see you here. That always means a lot of growth. The technique you have is unmatched. You've got such a technical voice, but there is another side of you which I think is very insightful and profound that wants to come out. I know I can bring out the best in what you need. I feel like I've been waiting for someone really special to come and you're it. And they have got some big voices. I would love you to be the first person on my team. I feel like you should be. I really do. And now the decision is yours. I want to be seen this time around and heard for who I am and what I stand for and let people in and enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'll say thank you so very much, each of you. I'm going to go with George. <laughs> On my first person on my team, and I'm delighted. Insane. <laughs> Welcome back. Well done, honey. Well done. This season is the season of massive voices. Oh. Oh, oh lordy. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. Good to meet you. You too. Welcome. Hey. Going up against an all star like Diana is intimidating. She's a great singer. Like, no pressure at all, you know. Wow. <laughs> You're a really good singer, you know that. Why do you think that you haven't got to where you want to go to? Um, when I was younger, even though I had some very uh, good opportunities in front of me, I had a lot of self-worth and fear to work on. And it's been a, a hard road to put yourself out there. And I've had labels tell me, that's a great song, but radio's not going to play it. Or, where do you fit? 
I felt like a failure when I first came on TV because I thought, well, everyone who knew that I was had a world deal at 16 is going to go, this chick. I still have moments of, of feeling kind of afraid, but at the same time, I'm much more fearless in the sense that no matter what happens, I'm on this path and I'm not leaving. Wish I could, I could have said goodbye, I would have said what I wanted to, maybe even cried for you. to say, Diana, th that was a one in a billion performance. And it was just this really powerful, perfect vocal, like perfect. It's a tough decision, but right in this moment. I'm gonna go with Diana. Thank you very much. So, pretty, you're probably wondering who I'm going to match you with. Yes. Have you got any thoughts? <laughs> oh, my gosh, I knew it. My two all-stars. They are both powerful women. They also have both have a lot of history, and I think that's going to be really kind of revealing in this performance. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. This is going to be a battle of all battles. What does freedom mean to you? Unapologetically who we are, that's what freedom is to me. Who we are, you are. Who I am. What about you? Holding nothing back. Nothing. There are lots of songs called Freedom. There are. But I've chosen the one by Beyonce. Of course you did. I think singing anything by Beyonce is a challenge. I'd like to hear a bit more commitment to the message. Yeah. Cool. Actually. Okay. Let's do that. That's, you know. More important. Yeah. Okay. In terms of kind of acting it out, I think that you could really let yourself go a bit more. For me, it's going to be about who brings the most believability to that performance. Trying to rain, trying to rain on the thunder. Tell the storm I'm new. I'm a walk, I'm a march on the regular. Painting white flags blue. Love, forgive me, I've been running, running blind. Truth. I'm a rain, I'm a rain on this bit of love. Tell the sweet I'm new. Come on, baby. Ooh, I'm telling these tears going fall away, fall away. Oh, that's one burning to flame. having two all-stars battle brings is so high. All I have to say is if we're starting right here, <laughs> yeah, the standards where crazy. we're going to go for finals is going to blow Australia's mind. I'm a wave, I'm a wave to your shadow. Tell them deep I'm new. I'm telling these tears going for the way.
get up one more time and clap. <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> Listen, you know, that was a powerhouse performance. Both of you ladies could walk out of here into a record deal. I wish record companies were more brave, because for me, you're both ready. You know, that was like watching two superstars singing. I have to say that when someone trusts me, I have to give that trust back completely. So I have to go with Diana. Diana is super professional. And I can't fault her technically at all. But, you know, life's not that about being technical. Tell me about your singing life, because, you know, you're clearly very experienced. I went to the States at 16, and I toured France and China with Tina Marino when I was 17. And then between 17 and 23, I had a few world record deals that didn't come through. Mm. Um, France, UK, New York, and Australia passed, and I had a couple of songs that were fought over between Mary J. Blige and the Pussycat Dolls. Things um, that you wrote? Yes. Yeah. And then a few years later, someone told me it was a shit song. <laughs> People said that about Carmen Community. <laughs> I sat down and I was like, am I just shit? Is this song shit? Am I delusional? You know, I think some... being delusional is kind of part of the, the process. I think you have to be slightly delusional to be... <laughs> to, to, be in, to be in the business? To be in this business, because, you know, this is a business of no pension. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. Really, it's about making that connection. And it's, uh, unfortunately, based on more than just yeah, how you course. sound. But I think it's a massive part of it. in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs I've made some bad rhymes I've acted out my life in stages with 10,000 people watching but we're alone now and I'm singing the song to you. You taught me precious secrets of a true love withholding nothing. You came out in front when I was hiding. Listen to the melody, cause my love is in Some people will use that sort of rejection as fuel. I don't think you should do that. I think you should forget it and bury it. You are truly a gem of Australians, and I hope you know that forever walking the circle. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. You know, Guy was talking about kind of letting go of 
Yeah. Passed off. And it's good to have a process, right? So I've gone for this fun process. You've got a process for us? <laughs> you need a process. Look, can you see over there? There's some plates. <laughs> Especially, they're like, they're special plates. Plate smashing is symbolic. The idea is to kind of let go of something that is annoyed you. And so I chose a few things from very early in my career. The only thing Culture Club have got going for it is the hideously unphotogenic Boy George. Way. That's <laughs> it. What's Diana got to get rid of? I need to know why. Well, I reckon one plate we can get rid of at least three record labels who said uh, the songs were shit and uh, good luck. <laughs> Do you really want to hurt me? This is weak, fourth division reggae, awful. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah! <laughs> Feel the rage. I smashed a few for some record labels. And I smashed a few for some heaters. What else? For every time I thought I couldn't do it and it wasn't enough. I felt that. Did, I well, felt that almost, was committed. You almost did. I feel lighter, yes. I had, a, I had a lot on my plate this morning, and now I don't. Now I don't have a plate at all. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> to finally have the acknowledgement that you work for for close to, to 20 years. Come out of your head for a sec. To stay on this journey and stand at the end would be magical for me. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? Who's your hallelujah? Everybody's got someone that you go, hallelujah, I know who to call right now. Well, I'd have to say it was my other half, Eric. Eric. He's a guitarist and a producer, and we've been working together for 15 years, and we've been together for about 11. He's someone of great integrity and great loyalty, and he shows up every time. Just put all of that into this. I think I'll be emotional because when I think about him having been there, it even makes me emotional now. Eric is my biggest fan. Um, he's usually crying, not me. <laughs> the thing that touches me the most about that is that it's, that's love, man. He's heard me sing more than anyone. He's heard me sing at my best and my worst. And he's still a fan. <laughs> he's my best friend. Well, I heard there was 
a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the powerful king composing completely set you at a place where you could honestly, I know I should not say this, but I'm going to say you could take it all the way. But women in Australia have to vote for women. is my last diva standing. She's my queen, and she is the cream of the crop. Congratulations. Thank Come you here. very much. So proud of you. To be at the next stage is very exciting for me because I want as much opportunity as I can to get my voice and music uh, out there, and yeah. the closer I get, the more that I want to do, the more that I want to do. If I should stay I would only be in your way so I'll go but I
made George cry. <laughs> Are you okay, George? Blown away. Oh. Blown away. Thank you. Isn't it red? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground You in me there Send in the clouds Send in the clouds Australia, it's time to find out who you have chosen as your voice of 2019. The winner of The Voice 2019 is... It's Diana Rivers! Yeah. <laughs> 